morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. And today we're going to be doing one of my favorite types of videos. This is actually a trailer that's already sold, so don't ever, anybody get your hopes up on this one. But what I want to do is I want to highlight all the things that this customer did for their custom build. Um, and it's something that you guys can do too. Every single trailer we have here on our lot is a custom built trailer from Cimarron. The only difference is that we were the ones that decided on the options. So you have, if you have a little bit of time to wait, um, you're more than welcome to sit down with one of us and we can go over our spec sheets, our build sheets, add length, change the height, lots of upgrades um, to make the trailer exactly how you want it so that when it rolls in, this trailer is already sold, it's got your name on it, and it just needs to be paid for and signed and uh, ready, for, ready for pickup. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna um, go to our drawing here, let you pull up the drawing. So there's some things I wanna point out on here and then we'll go through them in real, um, in real time. Um, but this trailer is actually standard width, so it's six nine wide, but they actually upgraded to seven four tall. These customers have, um, have some gated horses that have really high head carriage. So they wanted to have a, the option to have just a little more headroom in there for them so they don't feel quite as claustrophobic getting in and out of the trailer. The next thing you'll notice that's a little different is that rear door setup. They actually did a ramp with Dutch doors over. She really wanted a ramp. She saw a two plus one that we had sitting in the, show, the showroom and she decided that she wanted that set up on her bumper pull. Not something you're usually gonna see in inventory. You're usually gonna see just a 60-40 uh, or a 50-50 door set up. So this is something that she upgraded that she's really gonna get a lot of use out of. She really wanted that extra ventilation um, and she's gonna get that with those wraparound Dutch doors. Um, another thing I wanna point out is uh, she's, she's got that fold up step on there makes it a lot easier to move things in and out. And she also did a removable saddle rack. Now on a lot of these trailers, you only see that removable rear saddle, that removable saddle rack if you're gonna have a folding rear tack. She wanted nothing in the back, but she wanted the option to use this front tack room to haul hay if she wanted. So she did a rubber floor mat um, and then a removable saddle rack to give her more space if she's ever gonna load any hay in there. This is a really cool little setup. You can see all my scribbles on it. A lot of times what we'll do is we'll sit down with a customer and we'll sketch on these drawings that we get back from Cimarron. We can take something that's very similar and we can modify it and then you'll get a drawing back just like this. Once you're happy with how everything is set up, you just sign off on it and we get it on order. So let's go back to the trailer and I'll walk through some of those features. All right, so first up here, this is a bumper pull. So we did the tread by, right on the lower portion here on the nose. It's really nice because if you have a lot of gravel blast up from your tires, this is gonna take a nice beating from that and it's not gonna scratch up um, your 050 aluminum quite as easily. You've got the stainless steel nose sheet. Once again, a lot more heavy duty um, just to take some of that, that road blast that comes up from your tires. You'll notice you've got a nice big door here and it's held by a hold back. So on every door for Cimarron, you're gonna have a hold back of some sort. We don't want the wind catching one of these if it didn't get shut all the way and blowing it back and putting stress on those hinges. And you'll notice this is a really big door. So I mentioned she did, she wanted a little bit more access. We've got this fold up step here. It's on a little gas shock. so. It stays tucked up nice and tight against your trailer when you're going down the road, but it also makes it so much easier to get in and out. If you're lugging hay bales or anything like that in here, you're gonna be really happy you put that fold up step on. She also did the wider door. Now, since this is, doesn't have a swing out saddle rack, it wasn't imperative for us to put a bigger door on it, but they wanted to be able to get in here very easily without having to squeeze through or or worry about hitting anything on the sides of the door. So we went with the 42 inch wide door to just make it really friendly for them to get in and out. On a lot of our trailers, you'll usually see a brush box on this. She was adamant that she really wanted um, this door organizer 
something we can put on. Uh, it's just a lot more storage for all your brushes and bottles. Um, it's a really nice one. If you ever need to take it off, they easily just pop right off. You've got all these little fasteners on here and you can take this off the door. So really cool little setup there. So we walk into the tack room. I mentioned that they want the option to be able to haul hay every now and again. So we did rubber floor mats instead of carpeting in here. Imagine if you hauled some hay bales in here, you would be vacuuming for days to try and get all those little particles out. So having something that's just really easy to sweep, easy to clean, um, was, a, was a big must have for them. They didn't need a lot of bridle, bridle hooks. Um, they've got a place at their house where they keep most of their tack. So this is really for when they're going trail riding. They wanted the option to have just a few bridle hooks to hang up their loose odds and ends. So you've got the standard amount here, which is 12. It's carpeted behind. Remember, we've got a horse right behind this wall. So we want it to be as quiet as possible for them. Um, they don't want to have to listen to your bit swing back and forth. Um, and it also makes your aluminum stay nice and clean. If you have bits that go back and forth, they'll eventually mark up and you'll get all those dark marks that just are a little bit unsightly. So having the carpet protects your horses, protects your bridles, and it protects your wall. Right here, I mentioned this is a removable saddle rack. So not only is it completely adjustable, so if she wanted to, she could do saddle holder, blanket bar, saddle holder, blanket bar, um, but she can also take this all the way out. So it's just spring loaded back there. We did it in this location right here because it's really easy to just walk right in and throw your saddles in here. Um, you don't have to turn around and maneuver into this corner. Because of that, we have this little corner free. So we did a 25 gallon water tank. That way if they are doing any long mountain rides, they can bring water from home. They know their horses are gonna drink it. Um, and it's got a hose, so if you need to fill a bucket to hose down your horses or anything like that, or sponge them down after a hot ride, it's just really nice to have this all in one. You don't have to bring along additional jugs of water, and it's really easy to take out of there if you ever need to clean it. Up in here, I don't know if you can quite see, but this trailer has all of the upgraded OptiBright lights on them. So this is the new style OptiBright light. Um, it's supposed to be quite a bit brighter than our last OptiBright, which I know you guys have seen those for a while. So you're going forward, you're gonna see this style OptiBright um, on just about everything we have here. Um, it's LED, so it uses less power, puts out more light, it's supposed to last a lot longer too. So it's a really nice feature to have. Right over here, we do have a clothes bar. So if they need to hang anything up, um, it's unlikely that they'll be going to a lot of shows, but you know, their, their rain jackets, um, anything that they maybe don't want to bring on a ride, it's nice to be able to keep them off the floor and put them up there uh, so that they don't have to, to walk over laundry as they're going in and out of their trailer. Since this is a bumper pull, you do have your spare tire in here. Standard on sim runs is the aluminum wheels. And by now you guys should know that this green cap means that these tra trailer tires are nitrogen filled. Um, we've been so fortunate to have really nice weather here recently, but we've had a lot of really cold mornings followed by really hot days. So that nitrogen just helps stabilize the PSI. You're not gonna get those fluctuations that you do on regular air-filled tires. So that helps prevent blowouts, keeps a lot more stable. You have to worry less about those temperature swings. These tires also come with a really nice warranty. So you've got a, a warranty through Lion's Head and they're really wonderful to work with. We've, we've had to do some things with them from time to time, um, but you get a one year, no questions asked against any road, right, roadside hazards. You get a two-year roadside assistance, um, so nobody wants to be stranded on the side of the road. It's really nice that they stand behind that. Um, and then you get a five-year warranty against any manufacturer defects. So they really stand behind their tires. The warranty in a Cimarron itself is essentially a three-year hitch to bumper with an eight-year structural. So these are very high-quality trailers. Cimarron knows what a good product they have, so they're willing to stand behind it for a very, very long time. So right here, as I mentioned, this trailer is just standard width. 
you've got a little extra height, which is always apparent on a Cimarron. If you look right above the door frame, most of the time that's where you notice if you've got an extra, extra tall trailer. When I first started here, that was my cue to know how tall these trailers were. Um, that gap up there uh, signifies that it's a 7.4 trailer. The next step up is 7.7, beyond that 7.10. You can pretty much do every three inch increments on these Cimarron trailers. So that's a, a nice little cue on a Cimarron that you've got something that's a little extra tall. As I mentioned, got those gated horses. They wanted a lot of head clearance for them um, just to be on the safe side. And it wasn't really that much of an up expense as far as upgrades go. So better to be safe than sorry. Right here on the sides, um, you've got your triple hollow slats. So these side slats add quite a bit of structural strength um, to the sides of your trailers. They're triple hollows. So anytime you do a hollow like this, you're actually adding strength to the side of your trailer. And this is a lot more heavy duty than this 050 aluminum. So if you've got a horse tied here, you want something that is gonna take a little more impact against any, any teeth or hooves that might get, get scraped along here. You got really good running gear on this trailer. Um, they did two 5,200 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles. So it's a three horse bumper pull. They're gonna be very secure um, knowing that they've got plenty of axle underneath this trailer to haul what they need. Little button lights here signify where the edge of your trailer is if you're driving at night. Um, lets people around you know where you are. And then it also is a good indicator for you going down the road. As I mentioned, we've got these wraparound Dutch doors. They do have a butterfly latch here for security. Um, this is a really nice setup because she can, on a hot day, run with these open and wrapped around. Um, so she can get so much airflow running through these trailers between your roof vents, your drop downs, your bus windows, and your wraparound Dutch. These horses are never gonna experience a hot day in this trailer. Right back here, um, one thing that's really nice is it is so inviting and open for a horse to get in this trailer. She's always had ramps on her trailer, so she wanted this one to have a built-in ramp. It's very easy to pick up and down. There's a spring assist on it, as you can see down there. Um, so it's not something that she's gonna have to struggle with. If she's having a hard day, and you know the last thing you wanna do is struggle with a heavy ramp. So it's really nice here. Um, her horses will have a nice, easy incline to get up and down. You don't have to worry about them backing into a door. If you've got one that's maybe a little bit sassy, if you have 50-50 doors right here, you've got something that your horses could potentially knock into. By having the ramp with the Dutch doors over, it's a nice clear path, nothing to get in your way. So yeah, lots of... Lots of headroom in this trailer. It's amazing what three inches can do. You've got interior lights on each side here. Bus windows on the hip side, drop downs on the head side. She did a partial divider for the first one. The nice thing about this is we've got enough length here that if she ever needed to run with these open, maybe haul some furniture or something like that, she's got the ability to do that. This isn't so long that it's gonna interfere when her ramp comes up. Big stud divider on this first stall. They do have an escape door. So if they wanna put some extra materials up front, you know, most of the time it's just two of them going. So they've got that extra stall. If they need to do extra storage, you've got padding on the dividers. They wanted their horses to be very comfortable in this trailer. And what I really like about these Cimarron dividers is number one, they're very heavy duty. So if you ever had an issue, you know that these dividers are gonna be strong enough to hold your horses in there safely. The other thing is that they're really easy for one-handed operation. So most of the time you're gonna be hauling or you're gonna be bringing a horse in here and the last thing you wanna do is fumble around with a pin or a latch. So by having it easily push close, it just makes everything a lot simpler. You've got the matting all the way up on the, on the walls here, and she did every side. 
Um, so if you've got a horse that likes to paw and kick, it's just gonna be a little more heavy duty in the long run. It's actually got a mesh layer in between it, which gives it a lot more structural strength um, to uphold against those, those pars. This is a line and insulate package. So you've actually got um, styrofoam insulation behind here with the 050 aluminum over. Just a really clean look. Um, these lights bounce off of that white aluminum sheet. This is very inviting, very bright for your horses to get into. Um, I don't think it's gonna take much convincing to have them walk into a trailer like this. They didn't wanna mess around with hay nets. So um, all of your Cimarron's, you're gonna have the holders for the triangle feed bags. She actually decided to go one step further and have us include the triangle feed bags on this trailer. So they can easily drop their jail bars down, throw some hay. They don't have to worry about hay nets, um, stuffing hay nets or anything like that. So their horses can have food in front of them when they're, when they're driving. On the floor is something I feel like we really need to point out. Um, if you zoom in right here, you'll see that this is, this is worm flooring. So it's worm. People always think the name is a little bit funny, but it's We, Remo we Eliminate Rubber Mats. Um, so one of the big things that we face here with aluminum trailers is that urine and alu aluminum do not get along. Um, if you go long periods of time or even short periods of time without cleaning out your trailer and you let that aluminum sit on there, it starts to pit and corrode um, and it can actually do put holes through your floor. Um, so by doing the uh, worm flooring, it's completely sealed. Urine is never going to get down to your aluminum. So you can rest safely knowing that your horses are standing on a very sturdy, safe floor. The nice thing about a Cimarron is if you, for some reason, um, neglected to care for your trailer as well as you should, um, you still have four inch centers underneath your horses. So they're standing on a much more solid surface than a lot of the trailers out there. But they didn't want to have to deal with pulling mats. They didn't want the uncertainty of knowing that there could be any corrosion or pitting on their trailer. So they opted to have us install worm flooring when it was down at Cimarron. Um, it's just a really nice upgrade. I think they're gonna really reap the benefits of it for a very long time. Something I wanna point out is we actually uh, upgraded this trailer with additional exterior lights. So you've got the eight inch load light on the rear so that if they are loading at night, say their trail ride went a little bit long, they can still see what they're doing. They've got their interior lights as well, but you've actually got 16 inch awning lights on each exterior side of your trailer. So this thing, when it's hooked up to their truck, it'll be really bright, easy for them to see what they're doing. And that's gonna be a lot safer in the long run. So as you'll notice, you've got the wraparound Dutch on this side as well. These big drop down windows, I'm a huge fan of. I think that structurally, they're a lot stronger than most of everything else you're gonna see on the market. Um, really clean welds. Uh, these jail bars are all one solid piece, so you're not gonna have moving parts that you have to worry about breaking. No metal to metal contact if they can avoid it. You're always gonna have plastic against metal. It wears a lot better. Um, metal and metal wears really quickly. And it's also quieter for your horses. Each drop down window is also going to have a little bus window. Um, there's a lot of airflow that you can get on this trailer. Like I mentioned, these horses are never gonna experience a hot day in this trailer. Here's that escape door I mentioned earlier. A, sm a slightly smaller drop down on this window, but it's still a lot bigger than most of most everybody else has. So you can still throw hay on this one. Um, you can still supervise to put a ho have a horse um, drink some water or anything like that. And then if you need to get in and out, you've got this escape door right here. So I know a lot of you are now drooling over this trailer and you're like, man, I really wish I could have one. We can make that happen. Um, we are one of the biggest Cimarron dealers out there. Uh, we've got the ability to build a lot of custom trailers and it's one of our favorite things to do. We like to see people do things that are a little bit fun, a little bit specific. This is not something you would see 
on our lot when you drive in. We've got a lot of options here, but we can only do so much. So if you have a little bit of time and you're ready to put your name on a custom build, you can give me a call. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. You're not gonna see as much inventory as you used to on our lot right now because the majority of people are putting their names on custom builds and these trailers are coming and sold. So if you guys want to reference the trailer so that we can pull up the specs and build something off of this, um, it's a 2021 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. The stock number to reference is 5N210039. Like I said, I love building these custom trailers. I think people are so happy when they receive them and they get a lot of use out of them for years to come. So thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me talk about this trailer. I hope everybody has a great day.